Hello guys, here's Roman from Tentech. Today I'm gonna show you how you can create this X in Blender. First select everything in the scene with A and delete it. Create a new cube with Shift A, go into edit mode with Tab and scale it on the Y axis with S Y. Then add some loop cuts with Ctrl R. Select the faces in the middle, on the top side and the bottom side and scale it on the X and Y axis. Do this by pressing S and Shift Z. Then subdivide it by pressing W, subdivide. Inset it by pressing I and hit W, Loop Tools, Circle. If you don't have the loop tools options, you need to activate the plugin loop tools in the preferences of Blender. Scale the circle down on the X and Y axis by pressing S, Shift, Z until it doesn't overlap anymore. The handle of the X is not gonna be perfectly round, so I'm gonna scale it in the Y direction. Like this. To make this less cube shaped, I'm gonna select two faces and scale them on the XY axis by pressing S, Shift, Z. Like this. Do the same for the other two faces. Like this. We want the circle in the middle to be a hole, so we're gonna select all the faces and delete them. To make it connected, select two edges and press F to fill and repeat this step. For the blade, select the face and go into side view by pressing 3 on the numpad and extrude it. Extrude it and scale it a couple of times and form a blade with it. Only scale it on the set axis by pressing S set. Like this. For the sharp edge on the blade, I'm gonna extrude it once more, but just a little bit. And scale it on the set axis. I don't want my blade to be perfectly symmetric. So I'm gonna go into wireframe mode and press B to select an edge and move it down. Gonna do this until I get the shape right. Like that. The blade is a little bit thick, so I'm gonna select the front face switch into proportional editing mode by pressing O and scale it on the x-axis. You can adjust the area of influence by using the mouse wheel. Like this. Go back out of proportional editing mode by pressing O again and scale the front face down even more. I just see that mine looks a little bit weird, so I'm gonna adjust it by selecting these two faces and scale them on the x-axis, like this. Looks alright to me. Let's move forward to the handle. For the handle I'm gonna add a new circle with Shift A, Circle, open the menu and reduce the vertices to 8 to match the vertices of the hole. I'm gonna move mine up just a little bit. Go into top view by pressing 7 on the numpad and scale it on the x-axis until it fits. Do the same for the y-axis. Like this. Now switch into side view. Fill it by pressing F and extrude it down. Like 
like this. Next step, add some loop cuts by pressing Ctrl R and you can adjust the number of the loop cuts with the mouse wheel, like this. If I select the top face to scale it up, it affects way too much, so I'm gonna add another loop cut. And move it up until it's on the edge. And scale it up like this. Select the other loop cut and move it up by pressing G, set, like this. Let's mess around with the shape of the handle a little bit. I'm gonna select the edge loop by pressing Alt and right click and scale it up, like this. I'm gonna do this for some other edges too. You can move them around as you want but only do it on the y-axis. Do this until you find the shape that you want. If you're happy with your shape, add another loop cut right here. And right here. Select the face loops, extrude them along normals by pressing Alt and E, like this. Select the two edge loops and bevel them by pressing Ctrl B, like this. Same for the other two, like this. I'm gonna shear the bottom face like this and extrude it once more. Select the face loop again. Extrude the faces along normals by pressing Alt E like this. Add another bevel by pressing Ctrl B. Same here. I'm not very happy with the shape of it. I'm gonna move it up real quick. Like this. Looks alright to me. Now let's do some fine tuning. The top looks a little bit too cubic for me, so I'm gonna select those four edges. And scale them on the X, Y axis, like this. Looks all right to me. Now it's time to add the materials. For that, select the handle by going over it with the cursor and pressing L. Go to the materials tab and switch the materials view that you actually can see what you are doing. Create a new material, make it brown, like this, and the sign. For the grip, I'm gonna select the face loops by pressing Shift and Alt and right click. Create a new material and make it gray and assign it like this. Go over the blade with the cursor and press L to select it. Add a new material and make it gray too and assign it. The sharp edge I'm gonna select faces like this. And the front face. Create a new material 
and make it a little bit lighter. And this time, like this. To make it look better in your renders, you can play around with the settings in the materials tab. I'm gonna select my wood and turn the roughness up. And I'm gonna select my metallic materials and turn the metallic up a little bit. I don't increase it too much because in my opinion low poly objects look better if they are a little bit matte. But do it how you like it the best. That's it for the X. I hope that you could learn something in this video. Please leave some feedback in the comments and if you liked the video leave a like and subscribe. And we're gonna see you next time. Goodbye!